Mark and Vincent, congratulations on season two. Thank you. Thanks, Eric. You've got uh, a lot going on with your characters. Uh, don't worry about the spoilers because we're going to time it with the release so you can talk about anything. Right. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> um, so let's get in. You get the engagement going on. Vincent, That's you You have a very uh, big role in that. Uh, talk a little bit about shooting that scene and, and Mark, what it was like for you as well. Oh, man. Well, we, we, we had a blast. Uh, that was the first that was the first episode of season two um thankfully it wasn't the first scene we shot but um it was really fun to prepare because we we knew it was coming last season while we were filming so now we actually get to we are we were actually in the same costumes as we were in season one when we shot that scene so it was it, it was a little bit of a mind body like whoa what time zone are we in you know but uh but it was really cool to, to get to do that i i and and it, Particularly for me, it was important for me portraying Henry to sh to to let that be a sign of love, you know, because because we know from season one Henry isn't about the grand gestures, but he obviously was is more than willing to do that if that's what Jorge needed, and so this was this is just like you know a part two of that, and I think that's just a testament to Henry's commitment to you know, his, his partners, his spouse, his loves needs. And um, I think we can all relate to that, like stepping out of our own personal comfort zone um, for a loved one. And, um, you know, and, I, and that's to me what that moment represented. And it was also just such a beautiful celebratory moment. Like how often do we get to see something like that? Like Latino family, big house, all the relatives are there, this big grand gesture, you know, using your like the family members of the person you're proposing to. Like we did choreography with the pillow. Like we, you know, it wasn't like a Broadway show, even though I, we kind of choreographed it a bit to that degree. But it was really about that kind of fun creativity that can occur when you're just trying to create something special for someone that you love. And that's what that moment like represented and I think we knocked it out of the park and it was because we had Gloria who wrote it and an amazing writer's room and Andy Roth who um, her associate and we just had this energy that we had from season one and we just carried it into season two and um man we we really had a, a blast do, filming season two yeah Mark talk a little bit about yeah you're on the receiving end of this uh talk a little <laughs> bit about uh filming the, the that scene well, I, of course, did not know what I was in for, similarly to Jorge. So um, I was it was a lot of it was was a lot of surprise. And I, I knew I had heard rumblings about the intense preparation that went on to do it. And um, and I was just I listen, I was just a spectator. It was great. I mean, it was it was so much fun. It was so fun to be able to just be sitting down and not talking, you know. <laughs> Did it make you guys uh, tear up a little bit? Of course, I think it's. Oh my really God. Neat. I mean, listen, I I, I think that um, the way that it was shot as well. I just think that it's like that little bit of whimsical movie magic, you know, um, uh, and and a little bit of fantasy, you know. And I think that that's really really fun. And I think that that takes you know that takes people to the world that we're trying to create. Yeah, you guys are that that rare thing on TV, a happy gay male couple. Uh, <laughs> talk a little bit about uh, playing and representing something that's that's you know we don't see a lot of, uh, for better or for worse, on TV. Well, I think that it's easier to appeal to the stereotype of like polyamorous cis gay men. I think that it does it does make for really good TV. And, uh, it, you know, it, it makes for a fun uh, a narrative. But I think that um, I think that it's it would be a disservice to our community to not also represent like the lovely monogamous gay couple that's very, very happy in their relationship. And I think that that's exactly what it is. I mean, I just think that. Uh, I think to try and intellectualize it too much is also a disservice to their relationship. They just like each other. Mm -hmm. That's it. They like each other. They want to be with each other. And it doesn't really require much more investigation than that to me. Mm. Vincent? I mean, well, that's the thing is that like these characters are so 
Jorge and Henry are so different, right? But that's also what's beautiful about them. They have differences. They complement one another. And I was, I, I asked myself that question, that same question when I was figuring out who is Henry and why does he pick Jorge and what does Jorge see in Henry? And, and, it was very inherent, like when I, I did my chemistry read with with Mark on Zoom like this. <laughs> and yeah. it was even more obvious when I met him in person. But like there is this unconditional love and appreciation that when that's the foundation of a, the relationship, anything you build on it can stand, you know. And I think um, this show does something particularly well and it showcases those the optics of that and how it can be challenging and tumultuous but ultimately at the end of the day when it comes to someone you love you do stick your neck out you do face those uncomfortable moments and because you go through it together you come out of it stronger together and i think that's kind of what you get to see through henry and jorge and, and it's one of my favorite things about these two characters is that we we are breaking some tropes and stereotypes and we're also shining light on the reality that there are couples like us like jorge and henry that actually exist in the world we just haven't seen them told in this way and that theme is is inherent throughout with love like we are breaking so many stereotypes and we have this level of representation with this ensemble cast that I, I don't I don't think we often see in television and it just so happens that it's coming at a time where we need that kind of uplifting, romantic, loving, compassionate, accepting storytelling now more than ever. Great. Hey, Mark and Vincent, thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. Uh, we really enjoyed what we saw of season two and hope everyone gets a chance to see it when it premieres. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.